Ever since the news on increasing the numbers of LCA Tejas Mark 1 has been going around, discussions and comparisons have been on regarding its capabilities vis-a-vis -vis other fighter jets, more specifically with the Chinese J-10C being currently used by both the PLA Air Force and the Pakistani Air Force. Although it is also compared with the American F-16, but we shall limit our discussions to the Chinese J-10 alone. Hello and welcome to News Affairs. Before we proceed, we request you to like, share and subscribe this channel. Before we even imagine whether Tejas Mark 1 will challenge J-10 in a face-off situation, let's be clear that J-10 is a different category fighter aircraft. Better comparison of J-10 can be made post-production of Tejas Mark 2. With regards to Tejas Mark 1 fighter jet, J-10 is superior in respect of its range, endurance, payload carrying capacity and to some extent in respect of its avionics. Although there is not much information available on the radar of J-10, nevertheless it is said that it is an indigenous ISA radar which holds TR module of close to 1200 and hence is probably better than Tejas Mark 1. Since the size of its antenna is bigger, hence it is assumed that its performance would be better than Mark 1, although it is not necessary. The radar warning receiver of J-10 is digital. Besides, it is also equipped with a missile approach warning sensor, though there is no clarity on the electronic warfare suite yet. Further, external electronic warfare pod is also missing in J-10, which adds up to its negative point. In comparison, all our platforms have either an external or an internal electronic warfare pod. A new electronic warfare suite is being developed for Tejas Mark 1 called Anga, which is said to be more advanced than the Israel's EL-8222 and is ISA-based EW pod. Due to its long-range PVR, J-10 has the capability of sighting and shooting LCA Tejas Mark 1 first. However, this situation can be tricky due to the size of Tejas, its RCS and also due to its electronic warfare capability. Due to its smaller size, more usage of composite material and also due to radar absorbing material coating, the radar cross-section of LCA Tejas Mark 1, which is said to be close to 0.5 meters square, reduces in comparison with J-10. J-10 being bigger in size in comparison with Mark 1, and lesser composite material being used. The RCS of J-10 is said to be close to 1.5 meter square, which is 1 meter square more than LCA Tejas Mark 1. An advantage with LCA Tejas Mark 1 will be its electronic warfare suite, which will create hurdles in its jamming and locking. Although J-10 can create hurdles for Mark 1 by using jammers, till now there has been no report on jammers being installed in J-10 neither externally nor internally. In spite of having a longer range air-to-air PL-15 missile, J-10 will be unable to exploit its full range as it will not be able to track the target within that range. Most likely J-10 will be able to sight Tejas Mark 1 in less than 100 km range which will bring it in the range of Tejas Astra Mark 1. Since J-10 carries longer range P-15 missile, it will be at an advantage as it will sustain longer energy for more duration. Assuming that missiles are fired simultaneously from Mark 1 and J-10 within the same range, it will be difficult to evade PL-15. However, that does not mean that Astra Mark 1 will be evaded easily, because to exploit Astra Mark 1's maximum range, one will have to keep in mind its altitude. With less than 100 km range, PL-15 will give a better range even at lower altitudes, which Astra Mark 1 will not give. Another factor is that of endurance, as once the missile is launched, the pilot has to notch and evade the missile. Here endurance comes into play, because afterburner is being used more here. After evading the missile, the pilot has to recommit and re-engage. Mark 1 would be at a disadvantage here. The payload carrying capacity of Mark 1 is also limited, as it carries only two beyond visual range missiles. After defending once, 
it will be left with only one more option of launching the missile. And if J-10 is able to avoid that missile too, then it will have all the advantage in its favor as it carries four PL-15 missiles. During this shoot and evade process, the distance between the two aircraft will be less because of which the use of close combat missiles will come into play. Tejas Mark 1 carries Aslam missile with range of 50 kilometers and the aircraft can carry two such missiles. Hence, in close combat situation, things might get even out once again because both platforms carry advanced close combat missiles. However, due to better maneuverability and endurance, in a dogfight situation, J-10 will hold the upper hand as in this entire process, more fuel will be used. The aircraft with more fuel carrying capacity will be at an advantage. Although J-10 appears to have a slight advantage and not a clear advantage, but on more occasions than one, Tejas Mark 1 and J-10 will even out. In future, as Astra Mark 2 missile integrates with the aircraft for use, then slight advantage in BVR combat presently with J-10 while firing the first two missiles will shift towards Mark 1 because of better electronic warfare capability and lesser RCS. Two Tejas Mark 1 versus one J-10 would give a clear advantage to the LCA team. The numbers would matter more which will go in Mark 1's favor. Jai Hind!